Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a zombie comedy film, Cockneys vs. Zombies. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins at a construction site operated by a company called Hartman. There, two workers accidentally find the catacomb, which is sealed by order of King Charles. The two think that there might be hidden treasure inside. They then remove the seal and barges in, hoping they can find the treasure. Seeing the skulls inside, they think that it must be an ancient graveyard. As they are searching through the dark, a zombified corpse begins moving and slowly approaches one of them. The corpse suddenly bites the worker. The other worker attempts to retreat, but out of nowhere, another zombified corpse appears and bites him, which rips out his mouth instead of giving him a mercy tongue massage. Meanwhile, a young dumb man, Terry, and his younger brother, Andy, devise a plan to rob a bank. Apparently, their grandfather is currently living in a retirement home, and it is about to be demolished by Hartman Constructions. They need money in order to save the retirement home, which is why they plan the robbery. They then rent a van that they can use as a means of transportation. After that, they meet their accomplices in their planned robbery. One of them is an unstable Iraqi war veteran, Mickey, who has an implanted metal in the head. In the bank, the bank manager calls the Hartman construction head. They agreed to have an embezzlement deal, which involves millions of cash. The construction head tells the bank manager that he will send people from the construction site to pick up the money. He then instructs the bank manager to immediately prepare the money. Later, Terry and Andy deliver food to their grandfather's retirement home. Their grandfather is forcing them to get long-term jobs. The old lady overhears the conversation, and she says that Terry and Andy are trying their best to help. She then requests the two to help her open up her window. After bringing food to the elders, Terry and Andy prepare to leave. There, they encounter the demolition team surveyor. They rethink their plan to rob, but realize that they have no other choice but to rob in order to save the retirement home. They then drive and pick up their other accomplices, Davey, who helps them devise their robbery plan, and their locksmith cousin named Locksmith, who will help open the lock. But it turns out, Davey has a history of always getting caught for robbing, so Locksmith is hesitant to team up with them, causing an argument between them. After that, the team picks up Mickey, who is responsible for preparing guns for them. Mickey shows them the guns, and he jokingly points them at Davey, which scares the shit out of him. After some time, the robbery team drives to the bank. Meanwhile, an old lady in the retirement home peeks at the Hartman construction site through her binoculars. There, she finds a troop of zombified construction workers slowly marching out of the construction site. It turns out, the zombified corpse from the catacomb turned the two construction workers into zombies. As a result, the zombified workers infect the other workers. Now, the workers are slowly marching to infect more people. In the meantime, the robbery team arrives near the bank. They then prepare their disguise costume prepared by Davy. They disguise themselves as construction workers. Their plan is just to make noises to scare people. As they enter the bank, the bank manager walks out and finds them. Coincidentally, the bank manager is expecting the Hartman workers to pick up the embezzled money. She then misidentified the robbery team as the Hartman workers, so the bank manager welcomes the robbery team to her office. There, she asks for the necessary forms for the money. The robbery team appears to be confused, but the bank manager soon realizes that they are not Hartman workers. This prompts the bank manager to immediately press the emergency button. The robbery team asks for the money, but she insists that she cannot release the money without the form. This pisses the shit off Mickey, and he takes out the gun to force her to give them the money. She then brings the team to the vault and opens it out of fear. It shows that there are millions inside the vault, which is more than expected by the robbery team. They are surprised to see the money. After putting the money in the bags, they proceed to walk out of the bank, but the police are already waiting for them outside. Mickey shoots the police to push them away. This allows the robbery team to retreat inside the bank to cover themselves. They manage to retreat back inside, but they leave the money bag outside, so they ask for another money inside the bank. Meanwhile, the zombies reach the retirement home, and they initially attack the caregiver. The two elderly fight back against the zombies. After that, they retreat inside the retirement home along with the other elders. They then lock the doors to prevent the zombies from approaching them. In the bank, the robbery team decides to hold two bank workers hostage as their escape tools. But as they go outside, the police are gone, and everyone turns into zombies. The scene in front of them appears to be a zombie apocalypse situation. The group wonders about the situation for a while. Realizing the zombie situation, the group grabs the money and goes back to the van to escape. An injured woman is asking for help, so they take her with them. As they are driving away, the woman turns into a zombie and attempts to bite them. This forces Mickey to shoot her away. The group then drives to an abandoned warehouse. There, a zombie approaches them, and Mickey shoots at its arms and legs. But this fails to kill the zombie, and he ends up being bitten by it. 
The female bank worker named Emma instructs him to shoot the zombie in the head. Locksmith does it as instructed, and she manages to finally kill it. A mother zombie with a fat baby approaches them, and Mickey shoots the sexy mother in the head, ending her sexy life. Mickey gets the innocent-looking baby, but it turns out the baby is already infected, so he kicks away the annoying zombie baby like a football. Afterward, the group goes inside the warehouse with their hostages. Locksmith tries to call someone on the phone to ask what's happening in the city, but there is no signal. Emma then suggests using the radio in their van. Two of them walk together to the van. Along the way, Locksmith warns Terry that Mickey will eventually turn into a zombie because he was bitten. She insists that they need to shoot Mickey. They listen to the radio and find that there is a zombie infection inside their city, causing the entire city to be locked down. Inside, the male bank worker warns them that he remembers all of them and he will write a detailed report to the police. Mickey gets angry and smashes his head using the metal plate. Two of them walk back inside and they report the zombie infection crisis in the city. Terry worries about their grandpa, but Andy is confident that their grandpa can handle it. Locksmith suggests that they need to drive to the retirement home to ensure their grandpa's safety. In the retirement home, the elders are trying to figure out how to fight back against the zombies. The wheelchair old man thinks that the zombies are vampires, but the grandpa explains that the things outside are zombies. An old lady instructs him that he must kill her if a zombie manages to bike her. He promises, and he also tells her that she needs to kill him if he gets bitten too. Back at the warehouse, the group argues about whether they will set their hostages free. Mickey insists that they cannot set them free because they will report the robbery to the police. Emma promises that she will not snitch on them. She also comments that the group only cares for themselves. This offends the group, and they explain that they are doing the robbery for their grandpa. Mickey gets angry again, since the rest of the group is sharing information with their hostages. Mickey then gets the key away from Terry, as he doesn't trust them anymore. He then forces the hostages to go with him. Downstairs, a zombie suddenly comes out. He repeatedly rotates the zombie's head, until it gets separated from its body. In the retirement home, the sleepy elder is left alone outside while sleeping. Funnily enough, the zombie ignores him, possibly because his hormones are dying. The elders inside realize that he is still outside, so the grandpa shouts at him to wake him up. The sleepy elder then slowly walks back to the retirement home, while the zombie begins to chase his dying ass. Luckily, the zombies are also slow walkers. As the grandpa rescues the sleepy elder, the others fight back against the approaching zombies. They successfully save the sleepy elder through their teamwork. Back at the warehouse, Mickey ties the two bank workers to the post, not giving them any chance to perform pole dancing. Emma says that Mickey looks sick, but Mickey shows out his tongue to prove that he is good. On the other side, the rest of the group is preparing to leave. Out of nowhere, a zombie manages to grab Andy. In response, Terry smashes the zombie using a shovel. Locksmith shoots the zombie, and Terry finishes it off. Back to the hostages, Mickey turns into an angry zombie. The two hostages then rush to untie themselves while screaming for help. The rest of the group immediately comes to the rescue. They first untie the two bank workers, while Terry pushes the zombie Mickey away. Terry shoots Mickey in the head, but the bullet just ricochets off because of the metal plating in Mickey's head. Andy manages to shoot the gun, and he helps shoot Mickey. However, the metal plating is too strong. This time, Terry gets the grenade and removes the pin. He then puts it in Mickey's mouth and instructs everyone to run away. They immediately run, right before the grenade explodes. Mickey's head finally gets blown off into mashed potato. After that, the male bank worker gets a gun and points it at the rest of the group. He then says that they will all go to the police. Zombies walk behind him and immediately bite him. He accidentally shoots the gun, which hits Davy. The zombies continue to feast on his stomach until he dies. The rest of the group checks on Davy, who is dying from the injury. Davy says that he is proud because their robbery is successful, and he dies after a few moments. The rest of the group decides to leave so they can check on their grandpa, while Emma decides to go on to her sister. The group proceeds to walk outside to get in the car. Along the way, zombies attempt to approach them, so they smash the shitty and baldy zombies away until they manage to get into the car. However, the keys are left inside, so Andy rushes back to get it. He grabs Mickey's lower half-body and searches for the key. As he finally finds the key, a zombie approaches him. He shoots at it, but he is out of bullets. Luckily, Terry is there to shoot the zombie away. They get back to the car and drive away from the warehouse. They first drive to Emma's house to get her sister. Unfortunately, Emma's sister is already a zombie. They decide not to kill her, hoping there will be a cure eventually. As they walk back to their car, two opposing zombie teams flock to the area. But instead of biting humans, the zombie teams fight each other. This allows the group to get back to the car safely. 
Terry is hesitant to drive to the retirement house, thinking that the zombies have already penetrated the retirement home. Also, they do not have any bullets left. Locksmith suggests that they can go to Mickey's hiding area to get guns. There, they get any weapons that they can handle. The problem is they cannot fit the weapons in their car. So Locksmith hotwires a double-decker bus, and the problem is solved. They drive to the retirement home using the bus while bringing the weapons. They arrive at the retirement home, only to find it completely surrounded by zombies. The group climbs to the rooftop while Emma diverts the zombies with her hormone-smelly body. The entrance through the rooftop is locked. Locksmith uses her skills to pick the lock, allowing them to remove it. As they finally open it, they are happy to find their grandpa and the other elders still safe inside. However, the elders cannot climb to the rooftop because of their old age. The only way to rescue them is through the doors. Luckily, they bring guns, allowing everyone to equip a gun. Initially, they put a bomb in the kitchen entrance, which blasts everything and every zombie. Then they shoot every zombie around them, while Andy slices the zombified muscles using the samurai. The sleepy elder finds his beloved caregiver turned into a zombie. He loves her, but definitely not her zombified body, so he shoots her to death. They then rush out of the retirement home, where more zombies await them. Emma picks them up with the double-decker bus. They begin shooting the approaching zombies, which allows the elders to safely ride the bus. In the end, everyone manages to ride the bus, and they immediately drive away. Along the way, Emma accidentally reveals to the grandpa that his grandchildren robbed a bank, which disappoints him. This forces Terry to explain that they did it to save the retirement home. But the grandpa gets proud of them, since they risk everything to help their family. The bus engine suddenly stops working. This forces them to get off the bus. Since they are near the river, they decide to rush to the dock, hoping they can find a boat to get out of the city. As they are walking to the dock, more zombies follow them, forcing them to fight back again. Eventually, they arrive on the dock, and there is a Tesla boat. Everyone manages to ride the boat, and the old lady finds the boat key. The problem is the boat is still chained in the dock. The grandpa decides to risk himself to unchain the boat from the dock. As he removes the rope, the zombies surround him until he can no longer walk back to the boat. The group decides to go back and fight the zombies. Out of nowhere, the grandpa shoots back at the zombies, which free himself up. Andy, Terry and Locksmith also shoot at the zombies to cover their grandpa. Finally, they kill every zombie around them and manage to drive the boat to leave the city, while the army arrives to fight the zombies. In the end, they are confident that their city will survive the zombie attack. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.